Welcome back everybody. Today on how not to play rock guitar, we're going to talk about bending and I want to give you two alternatives to the classic whole step bend. You know, this thing that we always do like 98% of the time. I mean, it's cool. It makes you pull a guitar face, right? But uh, just because that sounds awesome doesn't mean that it's the only way we can bend stuff, right? So we're gonna focus on one lick. I'll show you the lick right now, break it down, and then we're gonna go through the variations on it. So uh, this is the lick. Pretty straightforward. You can put some vibrato on it. If you didn't see my last installment of How Not To Play Rock Guitar, there's a few little vibrato tips in that one. So go and check that one out and you can incorporate it into this. So that's the lick. And I mean, yeah, pretty straightforward rock and roll kind of stuff, right? What could you do that's different about it? What I want you to try is think about the notes we're targeting there. So normally I'm grabbing C, which is the flat seventh interval and I'm bending it up to D. So that's fret 13 bending by a whole tone, right? I'm then playing D, C and A. So that's fret 10 on the E, fret 13 and fret 10 on the B. And I'm grabbing fret 12, which is the note G, and I'm bending that by a tone. This is on the G string. I'm then releasing and I'm landing on F, which is the minor third of the minor pentatonic. Nice chord tone stuff right there. What I want you to try is this. Think about the target notes there. And rather than bend from this note in the scale to the next note in the scale, Start halfway there. So we're going to actually start at C sharp. Now, we don't really want to hear that initial C sharp. We want the bend to pretty much start immediately. But instead of it being a whole tone bend, it's now going to be a semitone bend. So instead of this, we're going to do this. You can do it like I did there and just kind of slide into it. Or you can just start there and... And take a little bit of time to just sit there and have a listen to this note to that note. And just dial it in, depending on your guitar and depending on how used you are to doing semitone bends, this might take a little while, but that's fine. Because what we want to do now is to replace that initial bend with a semitone bend. So instead of this, we have this. That's pretty awesome, right? The other thing that we could do is rather than start halfway there, we could start a little bit further back. So we could start on fret 12, which is the note B. This is actually the sixth interval. So if you just hit that one, it's kind of cool, kind of gives you a Dorian flavor. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend that by a tone and a half. We're still trying to hit that D note. So we're gonna have this. So we've now taken a pretty vanilla lick and we've got two cool variations on it. We've got vanilla, variation one, variation two. And to me, they all work in a different way because the subtle bend is going to sound kind of understated while the Tone and a half bend is really going to sound explosive and emotional. So this is a great way to pretty much do the same thing from a musical perspective, but to add a really intense emotional impact to your solos. And really, at the end of the day, when we're playing rock guitar solos, that's what we're trying to do. We should be focusing on the emotion and the musical content and not so much just about the flash and, you know, the shock and awe. Although that is pretty cool. So what I am going to do is I'm going to play that lick for you over the backing track and you're going to hear all those variations. Then you can have the backing track to practice it over just like the last installment. And what I will do in this as well is, you know, we're bending another note here, this G note, fret 12 on the G string. We can do the same thing. Instead of bending that by a tone, we can move up by a semitone and bend by a semitone. Or we can move down by a semitone and bend by a tone and a half really cool like this is expressive and a lot of my favorite players like Jeff Beck and Steve Vai they incorporate these kind of ideas so we might go from something like this to this oh, that was stanky I still need to practice this stuff but have a listen to it over the track have a crack at these ideas over the backing track and if you have any further questions 
let me know in the comments. Have some fun with this and have some fun spicing up your solos and adding some extra emotion. I'm very, very partial to those tone and a half bands. <laughs> Oh, that was a little bit better. See you next time.